Welcome to the fifth episode of Casual Commander. Today we have Hamster on Catilda, Dawnheart Prime. This is a human tribal deck jam-packed with great humans to make use of Catilda's ability. Next we have John on Topolar, Dire Overlord. The deck is filled with werewolves that transform or have synergy with Tovalar's first ability. Next we have Pine on Florian, Voldaren Scion. The deck is filled with pingers to maximize Florian's ability to dig deep and kill other opponent's creatures. And lastly we have Rat on Seraph, the Viper's Fang. The deck is centered around equipment that taps to deal 1 damage to an opponent's creature which will have death touch thanks to your commander. Since most of you that watch these videos are not subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you would like, comment, and subscribe, and that tells me that re you really appreciate me making these videos. Enjoy the video. Hamster draws and plays an untapped land revealing forest as an extra cost. He passes the turn to John. John draws, plays a tapped land for turn, and passes to Pine. Pine draws, plays a land, and casts Spear Spewer. He passes the turn to Rat. Rat draws, plays a land for turn, and casts Shadow Spear. He passes the turn to Hamster. Hamster draws, plays a land, casts Catilda Dawnheart Prime. He passes the turn to John. John untaps, draws, plays a land for turn, and casts a Mayor of Everbrook. He passes the turn to Pine. Pine untaps, draws, plays a land for turn, and casts a Mage Right Stone. He passes a turn to Rat. Rat untaps, draws, plays a land for turn, and casts Pathway Arrows. He passes a turn to Hamster. Hamster untaps, draws, plays a land for turn, and casts Mentor of the Meek. He goes to combat and attacks Rat with his commander. Rat takes one damage. He passes a turn to John. John untaps, draws, plays a land for turn, and casts his commander, Tovalar, Dire Overlord. End of turn, Pine activates his spewer to deal 1 damage to everyone. The turn is passed to Pine. Pine untaps, draws, plays a land for turn, and casts a Prodigal Pyromancer. He passes the turn to Rat. Rat untaps, draws, plays a land for turn, and casts Rick's Haven Stadium. He passes the turn to Hamster. Hamster untaps, draws, plays a land for turn, and casts Intrepid Adversary. Paying for its ability twice. He passes a turn to John. John untaps, draws, pays 2 life to have his land enter the battlefield untapped, and casts an Outland Liberator. He goes to combat and attacks Rat with both of his creatures. Rat takes the 5 damage. Tovalar triggers twice and he draws 2 cards. After combat, he casts Nature's Lore and puts a forest onto the battlefield untapped. End of turn. Pine activates Spewer and deals 1 damage to everyone. The turn is then passed to Pine. Pine untaps, draws, and casts his commander, Florian, Voldaren Scion. He taps Spewer to deal 1 damage to everyone. He goes to his post-combat main phase and activates Florian looking at the top 3 cards of his deck. He exiles a mountain and plays it for his land for turn. End of turn, Rat activates Strix, save and stadium putting a point counter on it. The turn is then passed to Rat. Rat untaps, draws, and casts a Pelt Collector. He then plays a land and casts his commander, Sarit, the Viper's Fang. Tapping Pelt Collector and putting a point counter on Strixhaven Stadium. Pelt Collector triggers and gets a plus one plus one counter. He passes the turn to Hamster. Hamster untaps, draws, plays a land for turn, and casts Adeline, Resplendent Cathar. He goes to combat and attacks John with both of his creatures. Triggering Adeline, creating a 1-1 token attacking each of his opponents. Pine and Rat both block a token with their commanders, and John takes 12, gaining Hamster 5 life. He passes the turn to John. John untaps and triggers Tovalar to transform 3 of his werewolves. He plays a land for turn and casts Tovalar's Pack Leader, creating 2 wolves when it enters the battlefield. He goes to combat and attacks Hamster with all three of his creatures. Hamster blocks Tovalar with his Catilda and blocks Dire World Alpha with Adeline, taking 4 damage from the Frenzied Trap Breaker and allowing John to draw a card off of Tovalar. End of turn, 
Pine uses Mage Redstone on Spear Spewer to use it again and deal everyone 1 damage, and after that uses the Pyromancer to deal 1 damage to Hamster. Turn is then passed to Pine. Pine untaps, draws, plays a land for turn, casts Dreadbore on Interpret Adversary. Then he activates Spear Spewer, dealing 1 damage to everyone. He goes to his post-combat main phase and looks at the top 3 cards with Florian, exiling a Blood Chief Ascension. He then casts the Blood Chief Ascension. He then uses his Pyromancer to deal 1 damage to Hamster. End of turn, he puts a counter on Blood Chief's Ascension. He passes the turn to Rat. Rat untaps, Night turns to Day, and John's Werewolves flip back, draws, he plays a land for turn, Equips Pathway Arrow, putting a point counter on Strixhaven Stadium, and casts Fiendhorn Elves. He passes a turn to Hamster. Hamster untaps, draws, plays a land for turn, he goes to combat, and attacks John with his 1-1 token, triggering Adeline, making a 1-1 attacking token for each opponent. Mentor of the Meek triggers 3 times, so Hamster pays 3 mana to draw 3 cards. John blocks with 2 of his wolves, Klein blocks with Florian, and Rat blocks with his commander. After combat, he casts Leonore. Autumn Sovereign, which triggers Mentor of the Meek, paying 1 mana and drawing 1 card. He passes a turn to John. John untaps, beginning of upkeep, Topolar triggers and transforms his werewolves. He draws, plays a land for turn. Before combat, Pine untaps his Pyromancer to ping down Catilda. After that resolves, John taps 4 mana to have his Topolar fight Autumn Sovereign. He goes to combat and attacks Hamster with almost all of his creatures. Tovalar's pack leader triggers and creates two more wolves. Hamster takes 16 and John draws four cards off of Tovalar. After combat, John casts Silver Fur Partisan. End of turn, Blood Chief's Thirst gains an additional counter and John discards a mountain to hand size. The turn is then passed to Pine. Pine untaps, draws, casts a Soul Ring, and casts an Ember Maw Hellion. He taps Spear Spewer to deal 2 damage to each player, and makes a deal with John to leave his creatures alone if he takes the damage from Florian. Pine attacks and John takes it. After combat, he looks at the top 10 cards with Florian, and exiles a land. He plays that land for turn, and casts a Felwar Stone. End of turn, Blood Chief Ascension gains another counter. And Rat activates Pathway Arrows to kill Hamster's Mentor of the Meat. Hamster loses 2 life and Pine gains 2 life due to Blood Chief Ascension. The turn is then passed to Rat. Rat untaps, Night turns to Day, and John's Werewolves flip. Rat draws a card and equips Shadow Spear, putting a point counter on Strixhaven Stadium. Rat makes a deal with John that if he does not kill his creatures, John will not attack. He activates Pathway Arrows targeting Pine's Pyromancer. In response, Pine activates his Pyromancer targeting Pelt Collector. With that still on the stack, he uses the stone to untap his Pyromancer and taps it, targeting the Pelt Collector yet again. In response, Rat uses his commander's ability to untap Held Collector, and then taps it with Pathway Arrows targeting Helion. The Helion dies, 2 damage is dealt to the Pelt Collector, and Pyromancer dies to the first activation. He passes the turn to Hamster. Hamster untaps, draws, plays a land for turn, and casts Sigarda, Heron's Grace. After that, he uses Sigarda's ability to exile a creature from his graveyard to make a 1-1 soldier token. He goes to combat, and attacks Pine with Adeline, and creates a 1-1 attacking token for each opponent. John blocks with a wolf, while Pine and Rat both take the damage. A turn is then passed to John. John triggers Tolovar to transform his werewolves, untaps, draws, plays a land for turn, and casts Wild Blood Pack. He attacks with two of his creatures at Hamster, and 5 at Pine. Tovalar's pack leader triggers and creates 2 more wolves. Hamster chumps 1 wolf and takes the damage from the other, and Pine takes all the damage and dies. Unfortunately, this werewolf does not have night bound and should have come into play unflipped, but unfortunately nobody at the table noticed. Pine still could have died to the attack if all the creatures were sent his way and Tovalar pumped one of his creatures. So there was no serious damage here. Tovalar triggers 6 times, so John draws 6 cards. 
After combat, John sacrifices his frenzied trap breaker to destroy pathway arrows. He then passes the turn to Rat. Rat untaps, draws, and casts a rancor, targeting Sigurd. In response, John casts Deflecting Swat, redirecting the rancor to Tobolar. The turn is then passed to Hamster. Hamster untaps, draws, plays a land for turn, and casts his commander, Katilda. Then he casts Shauna, Sisei's Legacy. He passes the turn to John. Night turns to day, but Tobler triggers in the upkeep to transform the werewolves, so the werewolves stay on the transformed side. John untaps, draws, plays a land for turn, goes to combat, and attacks Rat with 5 wolves and Tobler's pack leader, triggering Tobler's pack leader, creating 2 more wolves and Hamster with the rest of his creatures. Before blocks, Hamster uses Sigarda to create another 1-1 soldier. Both Rat and Hamster block with all of their creatures. For damage, John cast Chaos Warp targeting Sigarda. And in response to that, Hamster creates another 1-1 soldier. Chaos Warp resolves and reveals a land, putting it onto the battlefield. John then activates Tovalar, giving Tovalar's pack leader Trample. And then uses Tovalar's ability again, giving the block wolf plus 2 plus 0 and trample. Before damage, Rat taps his pelt collector with his land to create a green in order to cast Nature's Claim, targeting Strixhaven Stadium to gain 4 life. The damage goes through and Hamster dies. The turn is then passed to Rat. Rat untaps, draws, and passes the turn to John, who is then able to kill him with the remaining wolves.